Summer is a great time for kids to learn and have fun. Today I'm sharing with you these 10 amazing summer projects that can be done with kids all summer long. And parents, don't worry, you do not need any fancy material to finish these projects. So let's dive in and see what are the projects that we are talking about today. The first one is, let's create a comic book. You heard me right, a comic book. You are involving art, writing and storytelling, all three things in one project. And we are encouraging kids to talk about their favorite character either from the book or TV series, get them out and maybe write more about it or they can make maybe add some own twist. So this would be a great writing project at the same time art and storytelling is combined with this. Moving on to the second one, make a diorama. If you're not aware what a diorama is, I'm showing pictures here, here and here to you of a diorama. It's, um, it's a story based concept which is done on a shoebox, inside a shoebox where you can um, showcase something from history, from science, a scene from a storybook or uh, maybe depicting um, a cover of a storybook. It's a great way of just presenting. So a lot of art and a lot of thought precision goes into creating a diorama. It's a great way for kids um, to depict. The sourcing of the material is very easy. All you need is a shoe box or any of the card box boxes which are in the house. Third one is make a sundial. I'm sure a lot of people have not done this before. Make a sundial, that's a project that I am picking up for Vivan to start his summer uh, with. You would need to do a little bit of research of how sun and the time works and you would need a cardboard to design your own sundials. Uh, you would not need a lot of fancy material, but yes, a lot of research uh, on the project on Google. If you have the access, definitely or not, I hope the parents can help the kids to find a lot of material online. Fourth is write a play and act. I am sure a lot of friends are will be free over the summer and if there is a particular show that you all enjoy watching, if the kids enjoy watching, encourage them to make a play out of it and then try and act. So this will also help them in, um, in communication. It's a skill base, it's going to involve friends and it's going to be a great way of them collaborating on something together. Number five, start a blog or read blogs. Yes, start a blog. If you have thoughts that you think you're not able to express, please encourage kids to start a blog, maybe write, and if not, then maybe read blogs that are pertaining to their thoughts that they're looking for. What's the next one? The sixth one is create a website. Now this is for little older kids, but definitely this is something, uh, it's a technology driven one. And I think it's great because coding, designing, and a lot of collaboration is required here. You would need to do a lot of research. You need to go back and forth and see which are the free platforms where you can go and design your own website. It's going to give you a lot of exposure at the same time and great sense of achievement. The next one, seventh one, which I think is going to be my personal favorite one for this year is um, getting your own podcast. And when I say podcast, you don't need fancy equipments. You just need uh, a family member. You, the child should be ready. The child should be able to find a, fam a volunteer from family, friends, whoever, and let them ask some questions. The questions doesn't have to be very tedious. They can be as simple as like, what do you like to eat? So maybe the first one could be around food. This will help kids in public speaking confidence, uh, language enhancement, and definitely it's going to help them present themselves without any fear. So we are building that self-confidence while sitting at home, while they're interviewing one of their family members or friends. So please encourage kids to do that. The eighth one is start a club. So when I say start a club, it could be something that the children are really fond of. So like if your child is fond of gaming, if your child is fond of chess, if your child is fond of drawing, maybe around them there are kids like five or six or maybe two or three. Start with maybe two people at most. Tell them like find a day or find a time, like one hour and that's what we're going to do, but we're going to do it together. This is going to be a great way for them of building their own thing together, something that they love. And it's going to be like their own, um, how do I say, a proprietary thing for them to take it forward. The ninth one is take a class. So when I say take a class is either you can learn or skill or you can teach a skill to somebody. So if you have younger siblings in your house, you can definitely help them finish their projects or sit with them and maybe something that you learned in art in school or maybe something that you learned in any other thing in school, you can pass it on to your younger siblings. The 10th one is volunteer. Yes, 
when I say volunteer is, volunteer is like maybe nearby temples, nearby any praying places that are around you. They're always looking forward for kids to coming in. You can read a book there to other kids. You can uh, go inside the kitchen and maybe just spread, um, go help them feed the food. Uh, I mean, go uh, help them in uh, giving the food to everybody else over the weekends. Um, maybe put the dishes on the side, maybe clean up. There are so many things that you're involved with. Also, volunteer could be in the house. Maybe a chore can be uh, given to you as a voluntary activity if you can do, and you can also earn some pocket money on the side with the volunteer activities. All these activities that I've shared with you are, are all based on these, um, these traits that the kids will be able to develop while doing this. So definitely, a lot of independence, resourcefulness, collaboration, confidence, um, like public speaking, definitely language enhancement. So all these are um, the traits that we're looking for to enhance during summer. All these activities are going to be great. And I'm sure these are just 10 that I have shared, but with little creativity and little um, um, effort from all of you guys, you will be able to find many more amazing activities and summer projects to do with your kids. If you like this video, guys, give me a thumbs up and make sure you hit the bell icon and press the subscribe button. That really matters to us and can't wait to share more amazing ideas with you. Until then, see you next time.